Hey guys, welcome to another episode of NetSec Now. So today I want to make a quick video uh, explaining how to reset the root user's MySQL password. We went over this uh, briefly when we were doing the video of setting up and configuring DVWA for our continued effort here on the web pen test series that we're doing. Uh, so I encourage people to go out online and take a look around. And you know what? I actually went out online. I took a look around and there's not a whole lot of helpful direct information. You know, a lot of the things can be confusing. So I decided that it would be a good idea to make a video and show you how to actually do it step by step. Uh, so when you were installing Kali Linux, like we said in the last video, you probably went ahead and just typed in some craziness for the root MySQL password, or you left it blank or something, uh, and now you can't remember it when you're actually going to use DVWA, which is important because that's part of the information that you have to put into the configuration file to make everything play nice together. So I figured I'm going to just go ahead and show you step by step here. Um, I encourage you to do this as root, not under a sudoers account, although I'm sure you could probably do that. So I'm logged into my regular user account here that is part of the sudoers group, but I'm really just going to open up a command prompt, and unfortunately, guys, this all has to be done via a command prompt or a terminal. That being said, open up your terminal and just do the su command over to the user root, enter in your password. Oops, I screwed up my password. There we go. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and cd the root directory and clear this all out to clean things up. All right. So the very first thing you have to do here is to make sure you stop any and all MySQL database processes. Um, so if you're not sure if one's running, again, you can just do the service command, MySQL, and then the status command. And you can see that I actually have it running right now. Um, we have to actually shut that off. Uh, if you do if you do not shut that off, you'll get error messages. It'll be all crazy. So let's go ahead and clear the screen out again, and let's just uh, up arrow to save time and go to stop service MySQL stop, and you can see that it's ended. So let's go ahead and just go to the status command again, and you can see that uh, it's inactive at this time. So that's good. Let's clear this out. Okay. So we've gone ahead and stopped the MySQL database. And guys, I, I made a PDF uh, complete with screenshots of the terminal and all the commands I'm typing. Uh, so you can download that again on our website and I'll go over where to find that at the very end. So stay tuned to then. Okay, so now we have to enter in actual safe mode in MySQL. Very simple on how to do it. Um, let's just type in MySQLD for the daemon and then underscore safe. And then tac tac skip tac grant tac tables and the ampersand sign at the end. And I'll explain this real quick. So we're going into MySQLD safe mode. We are skipping the grant tables, which means that we're skipping of where it checks for passwords and permissions and things. And the ampersand sign at the very end of any command is going to background that process so you can continue to work in a terminal uh, while that process is running. Okay, so just hit enter, and then um, we have logging errors here in MySQL safe mode, as you can see. So all you gotta do is just hit enter twice, and that'll bring you right back down to a command prompt here. Clear this out. So the very next command was, we're gonna actually log in via terminal to MySQL service. So simply it's MySQL, tac u for user, and the username that we wanna enter into to log into to change hit enter. So you should see that you're now in a MySQL command prompt. The very next command we're going to issue is to use MySQL and the semicolon and hit enter. And you can see of course it says database changed. Good sign. So the very next thing we're going to do here is reset the actual root user password. Now guys I can't stress this enough. Make sure you double, triple, and quadruple check your command syntax when you're making any kind of edits to a database. One wrong edit can really throw things south and it's really hard to recover from there if you don't have backups, okay? So one, you should always probably try to make a backup somehow. Two, be very, 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 very careful, especially as a root level user. Okay, just saying. Um, 
So now we're going to just update the user's password here, which is basically changing the root user password. So the command is, while you're in the MySQL terminal, um, update user set password equals, this has to be in capitals, password. Okay, it is case sensitive there. Um, now we're going to go ahead and type in parentheses and then double quote, and then your new password is going to go here, okay? So my new password. Make it strong. Make sure it's something that you can remember or write it down and put it in a safe place. And that also with the double quotes and then end the parentheses. And then we're going to space and then type where. Uh, for guys that are, that are familiar with PHP programming or you know dynamic programming where you work with a back-end database, you'll, you'll realize that this is an update um, command and then you're doing the where clause and so on and so forth. So, um, where user, oops, equals single quote root, because that's a user we want to update their password, or in our case, change it here, and then end with a semicolon. So, check your syntax here update user, set the password uh, field to your new password here, where user equals root, and hit the enter key. If all goes well and you didn't botch it up, uh, you'll see here where it says rows matched four at the very bottom, changed four, warnings zero. So that's a good sign. Uh, the very next thing we're going to want to do here is flush, flush the privileges from the database. So simply the command is flush privileges. Oops. And then end that with a semicolon. Hit enter. If everything goes okay again, it's going to say query okay, zero rows affected. At this point now, we want to exit the MySQL command prompt or command line. So to do that, simply just type exit, of course, and hit enter. And of course, you can see it here. It says bye. So bye-bye. Uh, we're all done with that. Now we move on to actually restarting the MySQL database. We want to restart it without the grant, um, the skip grant tables, because now we want to test out if our changes actually worked, right, if they actually stuck. So simply type in service MySQL as root, of course, because it'll drop you back here to the root prompt. Um, and then just type in restart and hit enter. And hopefully everything went well. You could always check it with the status command again. And it's up and running, so that's good. Okay, so now what you want to try to do here is log in with the, the root user with the new password you just created, right? So uh, if you scrolled up a little bit, or if you wrote it down, um, you can see that our new password is my new password. Simple enough. Okay, so simply we're going to try to get into the MySQL um, terminal again. So MySQL TAC U, this time it's a little bit different. TAC U root is a user. And then TAC P for password is going to ask you for your password after you hit enter. So go ahead and hit enter. And then type in your new password that you just entered above. Hit enter. If all goes well, and everything is gone right, you should be dropped back into a MySQL command prompt. And it's as simple as that, guys. So um, while the other information online is kind of screwy and pieced together and maybe written poorly or whatever, uh, hopefully this video and the subsequent PDF file, which I'll show you here, um, will help get you to do this the right way. And uh, then you can actually set up DVWA and put in your correct root MySQL credentials. So anyway, if you browsed out to our website, learnnetsec.blogspot.com, you'll see that uh, we've got a tutorials part of the navigation up here. And uh, if you hit tutorials there, you can scroll down and you can see where it says uh, download here, of course. Um, and then just click on that download, it'll bring you straight over to that. Okay, so that being said, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, again, Thanks for watching the video. Like, subscribe, and share the video. Check me out on Twitter. Uh, all the links will be down below in the description. And uh, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. We're going to do some CSRF cross-site scripting ref uh, forgery requests. And uh, we'll get involved with that. All right, so thanks, guys. See you soon.